It is the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. We're here every single day from 5 to 6 talking about the local issues that matter to you most and taking your phone calls at 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. You can email me as well, randykabc at gmail.com. That's randykabc at gmail.com. Well, it happened to me. I feel like I'm a part of the crowd now because although I didn't get the full insurance cancellation that so many people are dealing with, I did get a letter from my escrow account with my mortgage that my homeowner's insurance is going up a whopping 50% in premiums. Un-B, exactly, unbelievable, 50%. You know, In this time that we're living in with inflation, budgeting makes all the difference and knowing how much you have to pay for certain bills every month really works out. And then to find out right before June 1st that, hey, your mortgage payment is going to go up by about $200 a month to pay for your increase in premiums for your home insurance is quite infuriating. I'm not going to ever use this policy because if I do, I'll get canceled. So I'm just caught paying more money to a service that I'll never use. Something feels not quite right. Of course, this isn't just happening to me. It's happening to people all over the place. And I don't know what we're going to do about it. Because even though Gavin Newsom says he has a plan and the insurance commissioner says he has a plan, they haven't done anything and they haven't even told us what they're trying to do. They're thinking of a plan that might get enacted real soon. We're kind of in a crisis here. Maybe you could act a little quicker. If there are regulations you need to change, get it done now. Forget waiting for an entire year to do something about this or two years or three years because there are a lot of people that cannot afford an automatic 50% increase in their insurance premiums. Luckily, as I was going through my email and finding out that I had to pay this much more in my mortgage payment every month because the insurance company wants to jack up my premiums, there's a report from KCAL on how I can save some money. Maybe there's a way I can save some money because this is rude, this is asinine, this is ridiculous, but again, I should count myself lucky because at least I didn't get canceled and have to go shopping for another insurance policy. So as I go through some of the tips out there, I'd love to talk to you at 800-222-KABC. 1-800-222-5222. If you've recently been canceled by your insurance company or your premiums went through the roof, tell me all about it. Did they even give you an excuse? I didn't get anything. I just got told your premiums are going up. I don't live in a fire zone. I live in the middle of the valley. What's going on here? 800-222-KABC. Tell me your insurance woes. 800-222-5222. Unfortunately, this is something that we're all going through together in the state of California. You wake up one day and you have one payment. You wake up the next day and that payment goes up 50%. Unbelievable. For more on how we can maybe save some money on our insurance premiums, here's a report from KCAL. Homeowners insurance rates have skyrocketed since... You're telling me. Homeowners insurance rates have skyrocketed since 2018, up more than 43% in California. You know, I actually had to look it up. When I got this notice and I, I saw what my new premium was, I went back and looked because i am only been a homeowner for a few years. I bought the house that I'm in in October of 2020. So I haven't even been a homeowner for four years, almost four years. That's very exciting. And yeah, I looked at what I was paying in my original quote, and it went up incrementally the first year and incrementally the second year, and then boom, 50% increase. Unacceptable. On your side, Christine Lazar has tips. And that's within the regulations that the insurance companies say they can't afford to do business in this state. So I don't know who to believe anymore. On your side, Christine Lazar has tips on how to find affordable coverage and what to do if your insurer drops you, and that has happened a lot. Yeah, it's happening more and more frequently, and you have insurers who are leaving the state altogether, and it seems like affordable coverage now is an oxymoron, but we do have some tips that will at least save you some. What we pay- There better be a good tip in here because I don't like paying for this. I like paying for services when I know what I'm getting. I know that I cannot use this unless 
the entire house burns down for some kind of small claim. There's no point in filing it because I'll have to pay more out of pocket and they'll drop me and I won't be able to get a new policy. It's a game of chicken. What we pay a year for homeowners insurance here in California is actually well below the national average, but that's if you can find coverage. Some zip codes in Southern California are seeing mass cancellations, leaving them without many options. We spoke with one expert on how to find available and affordable coverage. Gaurav Barjuaj and his family live in this modest 1,600 square foot home in West Hills. It's not near a brush filled hillside or a dangerous slope, but. Gorshoff and me, just regular valley guys in moderately sized homes. But their homeowner's insurance just increased more than 200%. Okay, I guess I should consider myself lucky. Mine only went up 50%. Even if I stop around, I may be able to save like four, five, ten bucks a month. Uh, but like, it's going to be a hassle. So I think I have to live with that. Living with the new normal of sky high insurance rates has many Californians struggling. It's just like one of the increase, you know, everything is going up, you know, inflation, you know, the grocery prices and everything. Um, I bought my home three years ago, got a good rate. Uh, that's the only thing which is stable. I see people. Yeah, you and me both. I got in at the twos, which means I can never move from this house. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. At some point, these rates are supposed to go down, but we're floating in the sevens. Who can buy a house right now? Who can sell a house? It's insanity. Uh, that but at least I have that rate. So at least my interest isn't going through the roof. No, my property taxes go up nominally. Thank you, Prop 13. And then, of course, the insurance. This thing that used to be dependable, that used to be just the standard thing, now all of a sudden... How do you have a regular service that, by the way, is a service where the vast majority of people paying into this will never use it, can go up 50% year over year? Unbelievable. Uh, that's the only thing which is stable. I see people paying anywhere from five, six thousand dollars where it used to be fifteen hundred or two thousand to people that were paying five or six thousand before. They could be in an entirely different category and paying thirty or forty thousand dollars for a policy, which is ridiculous. And again, this is with the regulations that are crippling the industry. I don't know who to believe. Carl Sussman is an independent insurance broker. He says the easiest way to cut down on your premium is to increase what you're willing to pay if you file a claim. Okay. I haven't thought about this. This is interesting. And look for a very high deductible. Don't just say I'll go from 500 to 1,000. Look to go from 1,000 to 5,000, even 10,000 if you can. And even though that seems like a lot, Keep in mind, if there's a large disaster or there's a large claim that you have, your home burns to the ground, for example, $10,000 is probably not going to make or break you being able to rebuild your home. home. Okay, I like that because we're in a situation where I'm scared to death to ever use this policy unless it is something like the whole house burns down. I don't even think I have earthquake because the prices for that are insane. And you have to have, what, like $75,000 worth of damage before you can even use it. But... Maybe I should increase my deductible to a point where my premium goes down because I know I'll never actually use this policy. And all the money that I'm saving from this jacked up premium, I can put in a bank account. And if I actually need to use the $10,000, you know, I'm going to email my insurance broker and I'm going to see how much I can save on that because I don't like paying this much more money for absolutely nothing. Homeowners should also take a closer look at their policy and make sure they're paying for what they actually need. For example, personal property, that's your stuff in the house, usually comes as a percentage automatically of what the home is insured for. If you look at that number and you say, I don't have that much personal property, then you can reach out to the carrier or your broker and say, I don't have that much. Let's lower that down. Same thing goes for you. Okay, so if I drink all the really expensive wine and I only have cheap wine in the house, everything else in the house is easily replaceable. I mean, the Peloton's not, that Peloton's $2,400. All right, maybe I'll lower my personal property insurance. Because these premiums, all the money that I would be saving if I had a lower premium, I could buy new stuff. It's almost like we're getting to a point in several different aspects of industry where the whole concept of insurance isn't making sense anymore. Same thing goes for you. And then what do we do? If we're at a point where insurance is too expensive and insurance companies say it's too expensive to do business, 
what do we do? We have to have something, right? Or do we just go to a system where the government has to bail everybody out when there's a disaster? I don't know what the answer is. I don't think anybody does. The insurance commissioner definitely doesn't. The governor definitely doesn't. Because if they had an answer to this crisis, they'd be all over the place telling us about it instead of hiding from this issue. Same thing goes for your move out coverage. Those with nearby family or close friends may be able to move in with them temporarily in case of any substantial damage to their home. In oh, well, I, I don't think I have that. But if I do have that, that's a great one. Because, yes, I could go... Uh, bother my parents for a week or two, or I could do what many people have done in my industry and go live at the radio station. Instead of paying for that coverage every year. But some Californians are finding it hard to find any coverage at all after being dropped by their longtime carriers due to high fire risk. And that's the part that gets so infuriating because we get emails almost on a daily basis of people that have been loyal customers of these companies for 20, 30, sometimes 40 years, never filed a claim. And what's the end of that relationship? Oh, we're dropping you. You're too big of a risk. Unacceptable. Calabasas resident Eric Brooks was dropped by his insurer not once, but twice. And each time it was a headache to find new coverage. It was almost three months to from start to finish. Uh, we sent it out to various um, coverage, insurance coverages and no one really came back with anything favorable for us. And as a matter of fact, the premium actually had tripled uh, from what it was a year ago. Brooke I guess I should feel lucky. Mine only went up 50%. Brooks is now paying more for his insurance than he is for his property tax. The biggest feeling is, is that what, are every, what is everyone going to do? Sussman believes relief is on the way with the insurance commissioner's sustainable insurance strategy, which will enable... The strategy they're still not rolling out. The strategy they're still thinking of because they're not treating this like the crisis that it is. Sussman believes relief is on the way with the insurance commissioner's sustainable insurance strategy, which will enable homeowners to make improvements like a new roof or brush clearance in order to become more insurable and at a lower rate. With the new plan, you'll be able to do things to your home to save money that maybe your next door neighbor chooses not to do. So instead of it being by zip code or by county or territory, it will be much more granular. As for Brooke, Okay, that sounds great. Why are we waiting to implement that if that's really going to help? What are we dragging our feet for? Ricardo Lara, Gavin Newsom, get off your ass and do something about this. People are suffering. As for Brooks, he ended up finding coverage through Lloyd's of London, but his coverage is so expensive. You actually have a leak right now, but you're not going to file an insurance claim. I am not filing an insurance claim. For That's what's happening. Like when you have car insurance in your 20s and you ding somebody, can I just settle this out of pocket? I don't want my rates to go up. We now have situations where people have legitimate damage to their home, whether it be water damage, whether it be fire damage, and they're going to handle it on their own. Because if they dare make a claim for the insurance company that they're paying through the nose for, they will lose the coverage. You're seeing this all the time with business owners, especially in places like Oakland, because when your windows get smashed, you don't want to call the insurance company. They'll cancel you. And then you won't have any insurance. And of course, we all have to have this magical insurance that we're never allowed to use. You actually have a leak right now, but you're not going to file an insurance claim. I am not filing an insurance claim. For fear of how that claim could affect his coverage. I couldn't imagine any more than this. Um, it's, it's gotten to a point where it's like, when is enough enough? Some lawmakers are trying to find other ways to ease the rising cost of insurance. A new bill working its way through Sacramento, AB 1867, would allow homeowners to deduct the full amount of their insurance off their income tax. And again, a lot of Oh, I like that. Okay. Can we get some approval on that one? Less money for the state of California and I can deduct my home insurance? This would be on state taxes, I would assume, not federal taxes, because the state can't regulate what's going on federal taxes. But that's something. Can we see some movement on that? That might help just the teeniest, tiniest little bit. And again, a lot of people paying more for their homeowner's insurance than they are for their property tax. And you heard with that man not even using his insurance when he actually yeah. needs it for fear of getting dropped again, which is really an infuriating place yes. to be as a consumer. I will say we have a very consumer-friendly department of insurance. I don't know about that.
Ricardo Lara refuses to talk to consumers, refuses to tell people what his plans are, because this situation is toxic for everybody in Sacramento. It's toxic for the governor. It's toxic for the insurance commissioner. It's toxic for the assembly. It's toxic for the state senate, because they don't have a solution. And I don't know what the solution is, because already the things that the insurance companies want include mapping out for future disasters so they can use predictable AI algorithms to determine that the entire Southern California area will be inhospitable in 20 years. So we've got to jack up your rates even more. I don't know what the answer is. I think California is ripping us off and I think the insurance companies are ripping us off. Maybe I'm wrong. 800-222-KABC is the phone number. 1-800-222-5222. Have your insurance rates gone through the roof? Have you been dropped by your insurance provider? Tell me your story. 800-222-KABC. 1-800-222-5222. My rates went up 50%. And I've never filed a claim, never done anything, and I don't live anywhere close to a fire zone. I'm in the freaking valley. 800-222-KABC. 1-800-222-5222. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on KABC. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. We're taking your phone calls, 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. The insurance crisis in California continues. People are getting dropped by their policyholders left and right, and if they're not getting dropped, their premiums are going through the roof. I personally just found out that my homeowner's insurance premium is going up 50% year over year. If you are getting dropped, dropped or jacked up by your insurance company tell me all about it 800-222-KABC let's go to steve and your belinda steve hello hey how you doing randy love the show doing great i have kind of an interesting story i had a water leak from my water heater into the house with a company i won't name and i called the insurance company just to ask about it never filed a claim got a letter three weeks later dropped so they play all kinds of funny games that I just don't understand at all. So you didn't and even file with, the claim. You just the let them know. You were just asking questions. You weren't planning on filing a claim, and they dropped you anyway. Dropped me anyway. Never filed a claim. Zero claim. It even said it on the letter. Zero claim. You're dropped. Thanks for thanks for the business. Unbelievable. How, you know, and you think about all the money you've put into them for years and years and years and years and years. And when you need them, you can't use them. And now you definitely can't use them because they dropped you. Yeah, can't even ask them a question and they dropped you. So that was rather interesting. And I agree with you. Asking oh. our government, California government, for an explanation, I'll just get Newsom pontificating for five minutes and tell us nothing except blame the insurance companies, not their policies. No. And they have no plan on how to fix this. They just keep saying, oh, we're working on something. Meanwhile, this is something that is affecting people every single day. Steve, thanks so much for the call. Appreciate it. 800-222-KABC is the phone number. You can email us as well at randykabc at gmail.com. That's randykabc at gmail.com. Penny writes in and says, the insurance companies just know that the homeless will be in your neighborhood soon, and that's why your rates went up. I hope that's not true. (laughs) Dewey writes in and says, sorry your weight went up, but you shouldn't blame the insurance company. you got to blame the government policies that have inflation going through the roof, not to mention wildfires and home prices following right behind it. So if your house burns down, they're going to have to pay a much higher settlement than they would have just a few years ago. That is a good point. That is a really good point. Although I don't think it's all about regulation. Part of it is, part of it is that we are, you know, the insurance companies are set to how much they can charge, yet inexplicably we're seeing 100% increase, 200% increase, my 50% increase. What's going on over in regulation-free Florida? They're having the same crisis where people's insurance is tripling to the point where their homes are no longer affordable and people are selling their homes and leaving because the insurance has gone up and up and up and up and up. And if the insurance companies are being totally legit and they cannot make a decent profit doing this anymore, what do we do? What do we do when the whole system of insurance doesn't make sense anymore because it's too expensive? I don't know. I don't have the answers. 800-222-KABC is the phone number. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on KABC.
It is the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. We're here every single day from 5 to 6 talking about the local issues that matter to you most and taking your phone calls at 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. You can email me as well, randykabc at gmail.com. That's randykabc at gmail.com. I found out that my homeowner's insurance premium is going up 50% year over year and i should feel lucky because it's only going up 50 percent, not 200 percent, or getting dropped like it's happening to so many people and where's gavin newsom on this issue nowhere where's the insurance commissioner on this issue nowhere they keep saying for over a year they're coming up with a plan but i don't think they're releasing that plan for years and years and years and years and the rates keep going up and the insurers keep saying that they're not making any money meanwhile you have people so scared that they won't even file a claim if they have a problem because they don't want to get dropped by their insurance company if any of this has happened to you give me a call 800-222-KABC let's go to roy in santa clarita Rita, Roy, hello. Hey, Randy. Uh, we have the same scenario with our place in Big Bear where we they canceled our policy and we looked into trying to get a policy and we couldn't do it at all um, well, for fire insurance. What we did do, though, is we, through our primary home, we got our liability and uh, things like that other than fire uh, bundled into that as our second home. Um, but very frustrating on the fire part. We were not able to get that coverage. So do you just go without for fire, or do you have to go on that state fair yeah. plan that's incredibly because, expensive? Because I did. That was why we didn't do it. Um, so we have everything but fire on the property, but that was the sticking point. Yeah, I, I totally get it. I mean, at a point, you're paying so much money. If you weren't paying that, you'd have enough money in the bank to deal with a fire. Yeah. That was that was our thought, and um, and we're considering it if one of our other properties goes into the, the same scenario, that will just cancel the fire. But the other part of the insurance doesn't seem to be an issue. It seems to, to be able to, to process through the underwriter's move forward with it. I, yeah, I think that that's a definite smart strategy to go to. And because if you're paying this insane amount every month and then you don't even want to file a claim because they'll drop you anyway, maybe you just go without and keep the money in the bank. You're your own insurance company. Roy, thanks so much for the call. Appreciate it. You know who else is to blame for all this? Gavin Newsom. Why Gavin Newsom? Because Gavin Newsom is the one who bailed out PG and E the principal cause of most of the major wildfires in the state of California. Southern California went SoCal Edison, but Gavin Newsom didn't bail them out yet. But when you have these utilities that do not maintain their equipment, when the weather gets bad, things burn down, it gets completely out of control, and then you do not hold them accountable, even when they're criminally liable for destruction and murder and, and death of all things, that's a huge problem. Because if the power companies aren't going to shape up their act, we're going to still have this major wildfire danger. And what's the response? Oh, pg e says, oh, we're going to start undergrounding all the lines. And what are they doing? Dragging their feet with that and at the same time jacking up their power rates. It seems like you just screwed at every single corner in this state. It just gets more and more and more and more expensive. But I don't want to leave. I'm just going to have to make some more money. Hey, if you need an endorsement campaign, email me, randykabc at gmail.com. Diana in L.A. Diana, hello. Hello. I, too, have the 50% increase on the on the fire insurance. So I said, okay, I'm going to use my middle-class tax refund that has $500 on it, right? It says it's good till April of 2026. Then I saw in the news the other day, they're going to cancel out all these debit visa cards that they sent to us so they can have an extra $300 million plus tax revenue. And where is that money coming from? The money they allegedly gave to us. So I've tried to use this debit visa card, and wherever I go to uh, try to take the money, it says declined. And then you call the number, and you can never get a human body. But my point is they gave, you, gave us the money, 
Now they're going to take it away, and they're claiming that, oh, we're going to have a 300 plus million dollar, um, like, money back from us. The money they gave us, they're taking back. Unbelievable. I heard that they're doing that. They're like, oh, well, we sent out the money. If people didn't claim the money, then we're taking it back because we've got a deficit. Well, that wasn't your money to begin with. You needed to give that money out because the state collected too much tax revenue in 2021 and 2022. But you have the car. They gave you the money. It's not like you never got the card. How dare they take that money back? That's your money. Exactly. But trying to find a human body to get it to do a transaction is is impossible. So it's kind of like my mother got three fifty. We got five hundred. That's almost a thousand dollars. That it's like, oh, here it is. Oh, sorry, we're going to take it back. Unbelievable. Amen. Yeah, I, I I don't even know what you do because they make these phone trees so impossible to navigate. There's got to be a human that can deal with this. If there isn't, we'll just keep shouting about this story and publicly shame somebody to answer the phone. I'm so sorry you're going through that, Diana. But thanks for letting us know about it. 800-222-KABC is the phone number. I will say, you know, there is a special place in hell for a whole bunch of kinds of different people. You know, dog nappers, mass murderers, what have you. Whoever invented phone trees, special place in hell. You can always email me, randykabc at gmail.com. That's randykabc at gmail.com. Chuck writes in and wanted to let me know about a one of his favorite pizzerias in the San Gabriel Valley, Rose City Pizza. They're closing after 15 years, and it was one of his favorite pizza places. They make a great pizza. We can't even help them out. They're already closing. And they're not closing because of crime. They're not closing because nobody's going. They're closing because their lease on the place that they're in is going up 40%. Now, could this be landlord that's trying to make sure that these people leave so they could turn this into housing? Who knows? Or is the insurance going up so much for the landlord that now they have to raise the rent on the pizzeria by 40%, which means you can't do business? Unbelievable. It is the News Blitz with Randy Wang on KABC. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on KABC. If you'd like to send me an email, you can do so. RandyKABC at gmail.com. RandyKABC at gmail.com. Roger writes in, hey, Randy, Memorial, good evening, happy Wednesday. I love your show, by the way. I've got a proposed, proposed solution for this homeowner's insurance nightmare. Why not just start a massive exodus of homeowners just choosing not to get homeowner's insurance and have everyone in California agree to this? Then the insurance companies will have no customers, and as a result, they'll be forced to lower their pricing altogether. In parallel, all of us homeowners will inform the lenders that we are not choosing to pay any homeowners insurance. How about that, huh? We all get a band together. I do love the spirit of it. I'll tell you that. Aaron writes in, in order for me to renew my farmer's insurance, they want me to get a certificate of preparedness from some bureau. In order to get one, I have to pay a $125 application fee and create a five-foot barrier all the way around the house. It has to be clear of everything. I have to have a chain link fence, but no wood. This means taking out eight trees. I thought we're trying to save the planet. Strawberry, creep myrtle, pepper, birch, fencing, and artificial turf. Really, it destroys years of planting and growth of these beautiful trees. I'm not even on any danger zone on a map from the city of Ventura, and no one has even mentioned how much this is going to cost. I don't even know how we deal with this. Somebody needs to step up and do something. And unfortunately, that person is not Gavin Newsom or his insurance commissioner, Ricardo Lara. Now, let's do something nice. Let's do something to calm ourselves, to enjoy ourselves, because there are a lot of worries. There are a lot of uncertainties that are going on. So sometimes you just need to disconnect. Sometimes you just need to get away and enjoy yourself. And I got the perfect thing for you. 790 KABC welcomes the 19th annual LA Wine Fest. It's going to be at the Harry Bridges Memorial Park at the Queen Mary in Long Beach this Saturday, June 1st, and this Sunday, June 2nd. Tickets are on sale now at lawinefest.com. But right now, call in number nine at 1 888 795 gets a pair of tickets to both days. Saturday and Sunday. You must be at least 21 years old to win. Tickets furnished by the LA Wine Fest. Good luck dialing. It's 
a lifelong dream come true. I'm giving away wine. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on KABC. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. Well, while you're looking around trying to create that five-foot barrier perimeter around your home to make sure that you're insurable, you might want to check around your front yard and your backyard to see if a criminal has planted a camera in your bushes to find out when you're not home. That's what's happening in the latest chapter of burglary tourism. For more, here's ABC7 Eyewitness News. The thieves hiding high-tech tools to spy on homeowners, this time a hidden camera found in a flower bed. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell live for us now in Lost Hills with new details and a warning about this topiary trap. Amy. Topiary trap. That is why Mark Brown is the hands-down best in the business when it comes to alliteration. Exhibit A. Naked and unafraid and just a feet away from the Beverly Hills border as the tents go up, the clothes come off, and now outraged locals are fighting back against the nudity, narcotics, and negative impact on their businesses. I love him. And Mark, the resident found that camera while gardening and turned it over to law enforcement. The Sheriff's Department believes this may be part of a disturbing trend. Thieves using cameras and other devices to scout homes for burglaries. Oh, I don't like this one bit. They're spying on you to see when you leave the house so they can break in and steal all your stuff. And then after you've been the victim of a home robbery, you can't even file a claim with your insurance company because they'll drop you. It's a threat to home security that may be hidden in the bushes. The Lost Hills Sheriff's Station issuing an alert after a resident found a camera and battery pack in a flower bed. Authorities believe the devices were... They're turning the ring cameras back on us. They're supposed to protect you from the crooks. Now the crooks are using them to spy on us. Authorities believe the devices were planted by criminals. It's a crazy invasion of privacy. I mean, uh, yeah, it's pretty scary to me. Investigators suspect the camera found in the quiet community was placed there by so-called burglary tourists. Oh, not this again. Burglary tourism is where you have people who come to this country, usually completely legally through visas, like what's going on in Chile and other parts of South America, and they come here not for pleasure, not for business, but for stealing all your crap, selling it on the black market, and going home. Organized transnational burglars who hide cameras to monitor the activities of homeowners and then break into their residences. It's strange that things are getting this far where technology coming to help you know, uh, fortunately, criminals to, to, you know, enhance their game. So we're going to have to keep escalating. So first we got a ring door camera. Then the criminals have the ring door camera to spy on us. So now we're going to need an armed drone to patrol the house all day long, all night long. And then what are they going to do? They're going to get their own drone. It's terrible. In Glendale, police arrested four Colombian nationals last week during a traffic stop. The suspects all believed to be members of a burglary tourism ring. Cameras and Wi-Fi jammers used to block alarm systems have been found in other communities in the Los Angeles area. Oh, that's the other thing. The Wi-Fi jammers. There are so many things you can buy on Amazon that are completely 100% for criminal activity. Because, as I've said before, and I'll continue to say it again... Amazon does not care that they profit off of criminal activity, just like TikTok doesn't care that they profit off of people taking videos of criminal activity. The Internet doesn't care that you're a criming bastard. Thieves scouting neighborhoods, leaving the cameras in leaves and bushes and using live feeds for real time surveillance. The Sheriff's Department is urging Lost Hills residents to be on the lookout for suspicious devices. Basically, a a situation that everybody has to be vigilant and, uh, you know, cooperate with the law enforcement and you see what we can do to stop this. So the residents, they contacted the police in Calabasas. There, You know, I, it might just be good, especially if you happen to live in a nice area like that. Check around the yard. Check to see. Maybe you got to get the old metal detector out like you're at the beach in the 60s. See if you could find someone planting a camera in your bushes or in your flower bed so they can find out when you're not home so they can steal all your crap. And this is just yet another thing that we have to deal with. Again, residents here are told to remain aware and alert. And if you find anything suspicious, turn it over to law enforcement. We have to remain so alert. It's like we're constantly all on an espresso drip.
That's how alert we've got to be all the time with all the crazy things you got to worry about being a homeowner in this state. Well, at least we can laugh about it, right? That's what we try to do here every single day. Thank you all so much for listening and participating in the show. I love doing this for you every single day. And then, of course, on Fridays, we really take it easy. We're going to have a lot of fun this Fridays. I think we're going to do tacos because... Happy Hour Tacos sounds like a good time to me. But thank you all so much for being a part of the show. Everyone who emails at randykebc at gmail.com, the people that call in, or you're just listening casually, you flip through the dial, we're glad to have you. I'm here every single day from 5 to 6. We talk about the local issues that matter most. We take your phone calls. Make sure you tell your friends. You can download the podcast at kabc.com. Click on podcast, Apple Podcast. Search for the KBC News Blitz with Randy Wang. See you tomorrow. News Blitz with Randy Wang on KABC.